Mars in particular with um, who is becoming the president, gan ganyan, no? Kay what will happen to the country if he or she will become the president, no? So, actually, it's normal, no? So, normal talaga na merong galaw or uh, difference, no? Ng mga interest rate or stock market and etc. It's normal talaga, guys. So, Um, that's the reason why na yung mga nagpo-post na ganito ganyan, sabi ko sarili ko, alam ba kaya nila ang kanilang uh, sinasabi about uh, what they have posted. No, So we need to learn kasi the rule of, of money is changing. Ngayon maybe mababa pero in uh, sa susunod na buwan, aakyat na naman or maybe sa susunod na taon, babagsak na naman kasi magkakaroon ng crisis or whatever like that what what had happened during the pandemic, no? Tapos medyo bumabalik na unti. Sana, kasi nga po, uh, nagkakaroon ng vaccination, eh dumating din si Udet, medyo mababa na naman, no? Tapos bumabalik kasi medyo uh, bumabawi na after how many months, eh nagkaroon na naman ng guluhan sa Russia at sa Ukraine. So, we could not control those happenings, guys. That's why it's normal to have these um, changes, no? Uh, when we talk about deposit interest rate or fluctuations of the market or stock market. Number two, um, people lack financial education. So it has been mentioned. Well, anyway, guys, the, the, the law with regards to financial literacy was already uh, made no, during the time of our um, former President Aquino but it was not implemented no so there is already a law or ra about that but it was not implemented by the way i am also taking up law at the moment no so but uh, of course no, meron tayong mga knowledge about this so um last 2018 the average filipino has a financial quotient of 53% no so that's why it was mandated by president duterte to implement the RA 10679 and 10922 which mandate for financial literacy in fact it was been it was mentioned by uh, Dr. Briones our secretary of education that if you want to teach financial literacy to students because uh, it was actually mandated to include financial education savings and investments on bonds trust funds mutual funds stock market in senior high school But some of the teachers will just skip that topic because, of course, um, hindi po alam ng teacher kung paano i-discuss. So I know that because I was also rooming around no, to teach this to teachers. No? Kay dapat nauuna yung mga guro ng uh, pag-aral no? or pag-learn about financial education before they could um, teach that to their students. So, di ba? So, mandatory financial education for all migrant families shall be pursued along with incentives to encourage entrepreneurship. Number three reason why we why we teach financial literacy because people live longer today. Of course, uh, tayong lahat po, we wanted to live longer. So, Filipino life expectancy last 2015, men is age 69 and women is, is age 75. So, I would I would like to kanang reiterate no a little about this. So if you stop working from the age 60 or 50s because you already are retiring that age. And then you will live like 20 more years na hindi ka po nagkakaroon ng active income or wala ka pong income, sino pong magtutustos sa mga pangangailangan ninyo, no? So this I realized guys after teaching for 12 years na wala akong ipon. Now, sino po ba dito ang nagtatrabaho ng ng ilang taon pero hindi din kayo nagkakaipon? Sige, duwag kayong mahiya no kasi of course, I think it's normal for people na they work hard every day, they go to work every day, wake up 5 a.m. and go to work and and start working at 8 and um leave the workplace at 5 o'clock and rest, then go to work na naman again. So, but walang naiipon. So, how much more if you will be returning na wala kang pension because you're working in the private um establishments or companies na hindi nag-offer ng pension, ano na pong mangyari sa inyo? Of course, no? Now, we will be um forced to continue working kasi nga, 
buhay man tayo, our needs are permanent man. So, we need to ano, we need to work even though we are already retired, di ba? So, that's the reason why guys, now we need to save and invest. You need to know how to save and invest. Bakit ka magsi-save and invest? Because of course, there are a lot of reasons, di ba? So, we we need to think about retirement, our healthcare crisis, no? Because guys, when we get old, we will be really go to be going to the hospital kasi of course magkakasakit nan tayo before death that's reality no so ngayon we're so much confident na ay okay lang naman sa amin ma-melch kasi uh, meron kaming binibig- binibigyan kami ng aming company ng tinatawag na healthcare yes true no um we are receiving that but the question would be can you bring that healthcare When you resign or retire from the company, meaning to say when you stop working from that company, can you bring that healthcare or um, life insurance which your company is giving you? Because guys, it's normal for them to give you free healthcare and free host, um, free life insurance because the moment magbibigay sa, sila sa inyon yan, ma-minimize po or ma-lessen po yung kanilang lessen, L-E-S-T-E-N, ang kanilang tinatawag na tax. O, di ba? So, that's the reason why bigyan kayo talaga nila ng healthcare. But if the moment mag-stop ka na, wala na yun. So, this is the reason why we need to save and invest. And you need to be educated about that. Minsan, aasa tayo sa SSS, no? Um, feel health at saka pag-ibig, no? But as what you've noticed, guys, I know that because I have a lot of colleagues na nagre-retire na din yung kanilang SSS, parang walang nangyayari. Parang binalagay lang nila sa alkansiya or lugi, no? Or sa piggy bank. Or yung sa pag-ibig din naman, meron sila. Pero the more na nagbibigay sila ng contribution, the more din sila nangungutang. So kung, the more kung nasa government sila, stable nga yung kanilang trabaho, pero stable din yung utangs ng iba. So these are the things that we need to analyze. Number four, We're already facing this high cost of living. So many people have difficulty in saving money for their future needs, no? And uh, because of this, what we called as inflation. So we could not, um, anong tawag nito? Hindi na, hindi na natin matatakasan pa ang inflation. No? Normal na po talaga yan. And that's the reason why magkakaroon ang tao ng utang because of inflation. Bakit? Kung meron siyang 20 or 15,000 um sahod every month. Tapos, that sahod na 15 or 20,000 is that's 10 years ago pa. Kasi hindi siya na-promote. Yan pa rin ang kanyang salary. Pero 10 years ago, ang baba pa ng ating mga bilihin. Pero ngayon, as what you've noticed, ang taas-taas na. So, kulang yung kanyang kinikita. So, what is the, the, the anong tawag nito? The concept that we need to learn Uh, we need to analyze that we should have backup income. We should have back backup money, no? Kasi of course we're facing these challenges. Okay, di ba? So sabi ni Robert Kiyosaki, money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. So that's why you're so much interested with how to invest kasi nga po, no? Um you are preparing for your future and maybe many of us are thinking about hala Uh, medyo nagtatrabaho na ako ng ilang taon pero wala pa akong naiipon. Or many of you like Sir Dan Mar, very young pa pero naiisip na siya na um, while young, kailangan ko na magsimulang mag-ipon. No? Saan kaya ang tamang pag-iipon? Okay? So you are right Sir Dan Mar and the rest of our guests tonight attending this webinar kasi it is always our advice not to invest on something you don't understand. That's why nobody will Um, discuss to you in um, fa- Facebook or Messenger or whatever, we really are encouraging you to attend a webinar like this. Kasi po, kailangan-kailangan natin. And masasagot din natin yung mga katanungan ninyo. Okay? So, welcome to the basics of stock market and mutual funds investing. Actually, guys, this is just basic. Because the moment you're part of our company, International Marketing Group, our company is what I've said is a financial education company. The moment you're part of it, the seminars on stock market and mutual funds is never ending. Kasi po, kahit ano pong gusto nyong malaman about stock market and mutual funds, wala pong katapusan yan kasi our company, IMG, offers us a lifetime membership benefit. 
And one of our benefit as a member of our IMG company is a lifetime financial education. True, guys, though I am a teacher by profession, I finished my master's and doctorate degree at a very young age, pero I don't know how to manage my money. True. Ang dami-dami pong ganyan. No? Na mataas yung kanilang posisyon sa kanilang company, pero wala silang alam kung paano mag-ipon ng tama talaga. And this stock market and mutual funds, I learned about this when I was 31. No? So I was like, 11 years in the teaching career, pero wala pa akong natutunan about this. For those who are young, who are here tonight, congratulations po, kasi at least meron ka pong knowledge about this. Okay? So, always remember that when you wanted to invest, you like your money to work for you. Because when you invest, you have uh, money working for you even if you're sleeping. It means to say that you will not die or retire working for money because as you work for money as of today na meron ka pang active income, natutulungan ka din ng pera na magtratrabaho para sa pera. Hindi lang po ikaw yung magtratrabaho, kundi yung pera din magtratrabaho para sa iyo. Because of course, we work for 8 hours out of 24 hours. The rest of the hours will be your rest um time no or free time so of course no mas malaki pa yung oras na wala kang trabaho compare sa nagtatrabaho ka minsan um you are not thinking about how many hours are you productive in a day kasi guys when time comes na uh, ma, ma realize mo na hala oy sayang yung oras na aking um um, ano yung wasted? Wasted time. no So sayang yung na we waste mo na oras no? na hindi ka naging productive. That's why we should always think about how to be productive every day. Okay? And especially during your free time, think about during your free time or holidays, did you earn or did you waste money or did you spend money? no Always think about how many times you get out or you get money out from your pocket or how many times you earn money no and 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 save it and invest it for your future so always remember that there are two types of income one is active income sino bang may trabaho ngayon paki chat sa chat box kung may trabaho ka ngayon you're having active income it means income coming from your direct labor so kung meron kang trabaho meron kang sweldo Kung, mer kung doctor ka, meron kang pasyente, magkakaroon ka ng pera. Kung lawyer ka, meron kang client, magkakaroon ka din, pe karoon ka din ng pera. But as what I have learned about being a lawyer, it's not always having money because a true mission of a lawyer is to become a public servant. No? So uh, pwede din na mag-ano siya ng mga kliyente na walang pera. So kasi mali yun kapag ang, ang isang abogado ay hindi po um, ano yan? Uh, mag, mag hold ng mga clients kasi wala silang pera, mali yun. Pwede makasuhan ng isang lawyer niyan. So, there are a lot of lawyers guys na these days nagplantito-plantita na lang kasi walang kliyente because of the pandemic, kasi walang hearing, di ba? So, OFWC fair contract no or agent commission. So, diyan po. These are active income. So, but as what you've noticed guys, napapago din ng ating katawan. Our money or our body kasi is the is the money machine. It means to say it is the one who produ which produces money. But what if the machine, magpalya yung machine, the production of money will stop. That's what you've noticed. So that's why we need a passive income. So passive income, income keeps coming even if you're not working. This is our ultimate goal. Kahit ako, ito yung ultimate goal ko. Ang sarap-sarap ng buhay na hindi ka napapagod sa pagtatrabaho kasi you have passive income. So, even if you stop working, mag-staycation ka muna, your income continues. Saan po natin makukuha ang passive income na yan? Interest coming from investment, mutual funds, stock market, bonds, long-term healthcare. No? So, I will discuss also long-term healthcare today if makaya pa sa oras or next time mag-attend ng kayo ulit. Royalty income from businesses and rentals and income, no, and etc. Well, guys, you cannot have a very good business unless you have a very big capital. You know that. 
And also, when we talk about rentals income, kailangan mo pang bibili ng mga sasakyan for car rental. Kailangan mo pang magpatayo ng mga apartments or buildings for commercial spaces for rental. Uh, you need to buy condominiums or real estate for rental. ba? Diba? So, kailangan talaga natin ng um, capital. But guys, um, I will teach you tonight kung paano ka makapag-ipon at magkakaroon ng negosyo na hindi mo na kailangan na mangkapital ng malaki. No, it's it's a matter of mindset and understanding talaga kung ano ang gagawin natin. Always remember to not work hard for money, but let your money work for you. That's why you're so much interested with how to save and invest. First, because you wanted for your money to work for you, you need to understand compounding interest. So what is this magic of compounding interest? How would we use it? So dividing the uh, number 72 by the interest rate of your savings or investment will give an estimated number of years it will take for your money to double. Very simple. You open a saving account in the bank worth 10,000 pesos and you save that money in the bank. Of course, kasi sabi ko nga, di ba? So 1% ang ibinibigay ni bank or even less than that. But I just intended to put it there. 1% para hindi tayo mahirapan sa pag-compute. But we know that in a year, the bank will just give us less than 1%. No? So ngayon, 72, kasi this is constant as what I have said earlier. 72 divided by 1%, which is the interest of your money in the bank, is equal to 72. 72 here is the number of years that your money will double. So are you excited to save your money in the bank? No, knowing that uh, it will double after how many years pass, especially if you can get a very low interest rate. Now, it means to say that your 10,000 will become 20,000 after 72 years pa. Okay? So I'll show you this 4% interest rate. So kasi 4% na siya, medyo lumalaki na siya than 1%, 18 years siya nagdo-double, hindi na po 72 years like that of the 1%. No? So, if you're 29 years old today and you're placing your money in 4% interest, you just save 100,000, your money will become 200,000 after 18 years that your age reaches 47. After another 18 years, your money will become 400,000 and that your age reaches 65. So, so what you've noticed, naglalagay ka lang ng 100,000 when your age was 29, pero naging 400,000 siya nung nagiging 65 ka na. So it means to say, guys, na hinayaan mo lang siya, pero it doubles because of the interest rate. But please take note, naging 400,000 ang pera mo dyan na hindi overnight. So wag tayong mag-isip ng get rich quick scheme dito. We're not teaching getting rich in quicker scheme because there's no such thing as building wealth. Tomorrow, agad-agad, maging mayaman na tayo. When we talk about building, like building a house, we need to really build the strong and solid foundation. Matagal-tagal pa. no? So, how about 8%? So, 72 divided by 8, that's 9 years. So, it means to say, when you reach 65 uh, from age 29, your 100,000 becomes 1.6 million. The reason why it gets it gets bigger because of course the interest also gets gets bigger, no? Now let's proceed to 12%. Of course your money when you reach at 65 becomes 6.4 million. So guys, take a look at 4% to 8 ano to 12%. It's more or less 4 times 4 3 doubled or 3 times doubled, no? So and um 4 times 4 to 8% is times 2 doubled. But guys, from 400,000 to 1.6 million, that is four times doubled, no? And 400,000 to 6.4 million is 16 times doubled. Why is that so? Because of the compounding interest. Therefore, if you're interested to learn about investment, it means to say that you're interested how your money will work for you. So that's it. that is it, no? Na kung mag-invest ka, wag mong isipin na bukas agad kukunin mo. No, kay mag-invest ka man, it means to say you need to practice the habit of saving and investing. And always remember that there are, there are four factors in terms of building wealth. Number one, the money that you're investing. How much is it? Number two, the interest rate of your money where or which you have placed it. Kung saan mo siya nilalagay, interest rate will matter. 
Number three, the time. Kasi time will make your money doubled. No? So time is very useful for your money to grow. You need a growing period of your money, guys. Di ba? So there are, these are the factors which, which uh, can help you build wealth. Okay. Now, so how do you want to make 6 million? First, you work for 6 million. Ikaw mismo magtatrabaho. So how would you do that? So you can do that no? by uh, working for your 6 million. Ang sama na, paano yan gagawin? Magsisave ka ng 200,000 per year within 30 years na walang interest, you can get 6 million. So paano natin yan i-compute? Kailangan makapag-ipon ka ng more or less 16 or 17,000 per month sa loob ng 30 years. Kasi that will give you 200,000 per year. E papano kung ang sahod mo is minimum? Hindi ka makakuha sa 6 million. So mahirapan tayo niyan kasi kapag normal or um, um, ano lang, minimum lang ang sahod natin, it means to say na hindi na tayo kakain kasi gusto lang natin talagang mag-ipon. So wrong. Number two, you have 100,000 pesos, nilagay mo sa 12%, at hinantay mo lang ang 30 years, you can get 6.4 million. Kasi of course, nagkukumpag interest yun. Kung wala kang 100,000, dito na lang tayo sa 1,000 a month. That will give us 12,000 a year and will give us like 6.4 million when you reaches 36. no Or 36 years old, or 36 years, or 30 years. So 1000 a month compare mo sa 200,000 uh, 1000 a month or 12,000 a month kung a year compare mo sa 200,000 per year sa loob ng 30 years dito 1000 a month lang or 12,000 a year So bakit mas lighter ang ginagawa natin sa number 2 because we're letting our money working for us that's investment So ngayon guys I want you to analyze ano ang gusto ninyo Ikaw mismo ang kakayod at magtatrabaho para sa pera mo or hayaan mo yung pera ang magtatrabaho din para sa iyo para para medyo mag-relax ka, no? And retire early. So that's the analysis in there. So when we invest, we should build it long term. So example, ikaw si depositor kasi guys, no, for how many years na ako dito sa company na magsi 6 years na ako ngayong November. Dami-dami nagtatanong sa amin kung saan pwedeng ilagay yung pera kasi Walang masyadong tubo sa bank. So si depositor, wala siyang alam eh. Nilagay niya sa bangko. Tapos si bangko naman, alam niya na pwedeng ilagay niya sa government securities, like stock market, bond funds, commercial papers, stocks and equities, retail loans, or real estate. Pautang niya sa mga sasakyan, credit cards, ganyan. But ang binigay ni bangko sa kanya ulit is 0.25%. Pero si bangko ang nakaginansya o nakaprofit from these things here above. So kasi naka-attend ka na ng seminar like this or webinar like this, you can have it like uh, being a shareholder of uh, the different investments like in mutual fund. So ikaw na mismo ang makakuha sa 12% interest. This is just for the sake of computation. Ha? Now, average in a year mo na tubo is 12%, not bad. Than 0.25%. So kasi guys, when we talk about mutual funds, this is one of the legit investments guys kasi ito na nga di ba ang ang makikita natin sa Facebook sa YouTube mutual funds ang tinuturo stock market bond fund no so yan saan pamamili ka dito ka sa depositor ka at ang pera mo na sa bangko at si bangko ang nagmanage ng pera mo or dito ka sa shareholder ka na ikaw mismo ang nagmanage ng investment mo and directly ikaw ang makakuha sa 12% so iba ang may alam. So look at the pre-computed dito na wealth calculator. So you are now, pagpalagay lang natin na si Sir Danmar nasa 24. At after 5 years, mag-aasawa si Sir Danmar. Gusto ni Sir Danmar ng uh, magasto sa kanyang kasal na more or less 241,000. Tama na to. 241,000 sa marriage, no ceremony, or mga prenup, I, I don't know. So maybe... Magsisave si Sir Danmar ng 3,000 per month sa loob ng 5 years. Ilalagay niya sa 12%, magkakaroon siya ng 241. Sige, compute ko ha kayo. Hindi ko masyadong bright sa math. Okay, so sa ganyang computation na 3,000 a month times 12 months, 
that's 36,000 in a year times five years, that's 180,000. But Sir Denmark can get 241,000 from 180,000 because of the interest rate. So that is a short-term goal. But what if Sir Denmark will have medium-term goal, 10 years pa niya kukunin, or 20 years goal, retirement na, retirement natin, 20 years goal. So tingnan mo lang kung magkano ang ma-afford mo. No? Kasi in my case, I'm catching up the time. Catching up the time, meaning to say double time na, triple time na kung pwede. Kasi I started when I was 31, medyo late na talaga guys. Kasi when we talk about time, when Sir Danmar will start at 20 years old and I started 20, 31 years old, Sir Danmar even will start 1,000 pesos at ako ay 10,000 pesos, hindi pa rin ako makakahabol sa kanya because of the time and the interest rate which is compounding. So dapat guys, magsisimula pala tayo mag-ipon while young. Okay? Now, remember the higher the yield, the higher the risk. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Kung gusto mo ng malaking interest rate sa investment mo, kailangan mo ding mag-take ng risk. I did not say that to invest will have no risk. No? Mag, mag ano ako sa inyo niyan kapag sasabihin ko na there is no risk in investing. There is risk in investing kahit saan. Kung sa bangko may risk. Anong risk? Kulang return. <laughs> Yan ang risk. Pwede din mag mag ano, mag-file ng uh, anong tawag niyan? Um, bankruptcy, no? But kung mag-file ng bankruptcy, always remember there is PDIC, Philippine Deposit Insurance Commission. At the same time din ng atin, meron din tayong IC or insurance commission. So it's okay. No? That is the legitimacy that I was talking about the earlier no, when I started the webinar. So know your risk tolerance. The best way to reduce risk if you want to invest in stock market is to invest in mutual funds. So that is what you are inquiring or making. Uh, you are asking Sir um, Danmark. So it dito po guys. No? So... There are different types of mutual funds. We have bonds, we like conservative type ito. 4 to 6% po per annum ang return. So nasa commercial bonds, cash, fixed income, tino, T-bills. So a bond is a low risk type of mutual funds that invest mostly in fixed income instruments such as government securities and corporate bonds. The main investment objective is capital preservation and reasonable growth. So recommended length of stay is short term, 1 to 2 years. So reasonable growth kasi conservative ka nga na investor. Gusto mo na hindi mawawala yung capital mo. So dito ka lang. Kahit konti lang ang return, basta hindi mawawala yung capital mo, dito ka sa conservative. Moderate naman is 12% to 15% per annum. And then blue chips companies yan, government securities and cash. No, So a balanced fund is moderate risk type of mutual funds that invest in a combination of equity stocks and fixed income instruments. The allocation varies according to the fund's objective. Uh, the main investment objective of the fund is for medium and long-term growth. So recommended length of stay is 3 to 5 years. No, So kung kaya mo na mag-antay ng 3 to 5 years, dito ka sa moderate. And sa aggressive, ito yung mga stock market talaga, yung buy and sell. Aggressive yan, pero mas malaki ang, ang return. Pero mas malaki din ang risk, especially if you have no knowledge. That's why kung you have no knowledge pa, huwag ka muna mag-invest sa direct stock trading. Okay? So, um, I want you to, ano guys, see the scenario. Kasi ito yung normal scenario ng talagang stock market or mutual funds. Eh. So, I want you to see the scenario and then tell me if in this scenario, maka-profit ka ba or hindi. So in this scenario, the price of stocks rises. So as what you've noticed, this is what we called as the index. No? O uh, kung nag-ano tayo sa math noon, tinatawag natin tong line graph. Pero sa stock market, tinatawag natin tong index. So the index, as what you've noticed in here, rises. No? Umaakyat. So can you, uh, do you think you can make a profit out of this scenario? Number two naman, the price of stocks drops and gains back. So as what you have noticed dito, bumababa siya, bumabagsak. No? Drops means bumabagsak. Then gains back ulit. Meaning to say bumabawi. Can you earn profit of that? You can chat guys ha. Kahit para meron tayo namang tinatawag nitong um, active uh, cooperation with our webinar. No? Hindi lang yung ako ang nagsasalita. So next number three naman na scenario the, uh, the, the price of stocks drops and rises slowly. 
little by little lang siyang bumabalik. No, ito ang laki-laki ng kaniyang ano guys, no, binabagsak tapos little by little lang siyang bumabawi. Can you earn profit out of that? Okay. So guys, let's go, no? So as what you've noticed sa uh, sa mga months na to, si price of stocks umaakyat. So as what you've noticed, you can find here dots or square ba to or diamonds ba to. These dots represent months na nag-i-invest siya. So 1 2 3 4 5 6 six dots it means to say Six months din siyang nag-i-invest. Each month, nag-i-invest siya ng tig 1,000 pesos. So as what you've noticed sa first month, yung 1,000 pesos niya, kasi ang presyo ng shares is tag 10, nakabili siya ng 100 shares. Sa second month niya is umaakyat tag 12 pesos, nakabili siya ng 83.33 sa isang libo niya. Guys, remember, every month siya naglagay ng tig 1,000 fixed amount ang kanyang nilalagay. Regular din siyang naglalagay every month. So pag next month, 14 pesos, so 71.43, 16 pesos pagka fourth month, then 62.50. Then pagka fifth month, 18 pesos, then nakabili siya ng 55.55. And then pagka last month is 20, nakabili siya ng 50 shares. And she decided to redeem the shares she had. Within six months, the the right term is redeem, not tinda, not benta, but redeem. Okay, so now yon, papa ano yon, ma'am? Simply, I add lang yung number of shares na nag accumulate. I want to use the word accumulation of shares. It means to say, kahit umaakyat yung presyo ng shares, when you buy, when you make hulog, it means to say you have bought. Shares. So yung shares mo hindi na wala, kundi nag-accumulate lang yan. That's why in investing mutual funds, it this is the proper way to save money kasi nag-ano man siya, nag-accumulate man yung shares niya. Di ba? Okay. So simple lang, no? Ang, ang total shares is 422.81 times 20, which is the last price per share. A total of, yung kanyang NAV, net asset value per share, is 8,456. But hindi po to yung pera mo talaga kasi ang profit mo is just 2000 plus kasi minus sa 6000 na, na capital mo kasi every month naglagay ka man ng tigwa 1000 so meron kang profit na 2000 plus. So what you've noticed guys kahit pataas pa yung shares as long as you regularly and religiously invested you can still earn profit. So it would not matter kung sino yung presidente as long as you have the, the religious heart to, to save and invest, you can still have money. Kay, hindi man yan mag-matter kung sino yung president natin kasi bago, bago pa ang political ano, no, kahapon pa. Hindi mo matter kung sino yung president. Kung ikaw mismo wala kang disiplina sa pag-iipon at pag-i-invest, wala at wala ka pa rin talaga. Kaya hindi man yan maato no, ng government na bigyan ng tig-iisang retirement fund ang mga tao. So we need to do our part, no? Number two, hindi ko na siguro to uh, isa-isahin. No? So, diretso-diretso na to. Kasi sabi ko man, tigwa 1,000 per month. But in this case, the index, guys, um, drops and gains back. no? So, yung 1,000 yan yung unang month, tag 10 ang shares, so 100 shares, tag 7, pag sa pangalawang buwan, so tag 5, tag 6, tag 7, tag 10. So, again, itotal lang yung ang number of shares na na-accumulate. That's 852.50 times 10, which is the last price per share on the sixth month. So, nagkakaroon siya ng 8,525 minus 6,000. Nagkakaroon siya ng profit. Wala mang lugi lagi eh. That's what you've noticed, no? Wala lugi dyan. Kasi regular siyang nagbibili ng shares. Last is nag-pandemic. So, isang peso na lang, no? Pero sa isang libo niya, naging 1,000 shares yun. Nakabili siya ng madami. Therefore, if the stock market will go down, it's sale. So we need to buy more kasi nagsisale yung stock market. You are not going to sell your shares or to redeem your shares kasi nga mababa. So instead, bili ka ng madami. No? So as what you've noticed, ang total shares nito, naging 2,550 times 5, which is the last price per share. That's 12,750 minus 6,000. Nagkakaroon siya ng profit ng 6,750. So sino po bang nag yes doon? Lahat po nag yes no A, B, C scenario. Lahat nagkaroon ng profit. But saan siya nagkaroon ng malaking profit? 
when the stock market is down, bumibili siya ng marami. Nakabili siya ng marami, in short. So this is the normal index movement or fluctuation of market. It seems like a heartbeat. As what you've noticed, if your heartbeat will go like straight up and straight down, you'll die. So if our economy will also go up or go down straight, our economy also will die. So for it to survive, it should go if it should have fluctuation, the up and down of the stock market. So I know na, na natuto ka na ngayon. So natatawa na lang ako sa mga chat, no? mga post ng mga, mga tao talaga. So guys, normal lang po talaga yan. Hindi natin yan ma-hold. Wala tayong control. Nobody controls stock market. Even, even in America, the Dow Jones, wala pong nag-control ng stock market talaga. So because we do not control the stock market, all we need to do is to practice the habit of investing. That's all. Regular investing. Okay? So simply lang ang mutual funds or Danmar, you are the investor, the fund house or the fund manager will be the one to manage your fund. Not me, not the one who invited you, not the IMG, but the fund manager itself because we have partners, no kasi broker man ang IMG. Uh, nagkakaroon kami ng partners. Pero ma'am, bakit ko kailangan pang dumaan sa IMG? Kung pwede naman pala akong dumiritso doon sa mga fund managers. Very good question. But sir, ang aming company kasi nag-o-offer ng benefit for members. That's what we are. We're helping people na magkakaroon ng mga discounts. No, para at least no, bababa yung maliit na lang yung kanilang mga, mga taxes or mga charges. Ngayon, if diretso ka sir sa, ano, sir sa mga fund managers, meron yung tinatawag na load fee. So ang load fee sir, nasa 2 to 3% per investment or per redemption. So kung isipin natin sa ang compounding interest or accumulation of your charges, every time you invest, nag-accumulate yung charge mo. Every time you redeem, nag-accumulate yung charge mo. Malalaki na din yan kapag mag-accumulate. Lalaki din yan in the future. But being part of our company, International Marketing Group, will give you a zero load fee. When you invest, when you redeem, zero load fee. That's what we are here in company, our company. So, sir, um, you your investment will be uh, managed by the fund manager. Don't worry, because si fund manager siya talaga ang uh, well versed with that, no? And uh, of course, it will generate return and it will be passed back to you as the investor. Simply lang, wag lang nating ano. So, kung wala ka masyadong oras magmonitor sa pera mo, sir, dito ka sa mutual fund. Pero kung may marami kang oras, mag-attend ka ng more seminars in IMG, be part or become member of our company and attend more seminars of stock market so that you can have your own trading sa stock market namin. Okay? So if SSS invest 3 billion in mutual funds, ang question ko dito, kaninong pera ang nasa SSS? That's why guys, in my case, I stop my SSS. Kay pudi man pala ako mag-invest sa mutual funds na ako lang hindi dadaan sa SSS. Kay for sure, si SSS nagcut din siya. Middleman din si SSS, nagkuha din siya ng interest sa pera mo doon, hindi diretso sa iyo. 'Di ba? So uh, mutual funds, guys, our partner is Rumber Financial. So um, it is professionally managed, uh, potentially high return, low capital requirement. Kasi of course, in IMG, uh, you just need to become a member. No, Later on, I will tell you. Then automatic ka na investor sa mutual fund. Instant diversification, meaning to say yung investment mo. Maximum 10 companies na ang pinaglagyan sa pera mo, blue chips companies. Then safe and transparent siya kasi you can always monitor your money and walang tax po yan. That's the better ano sa mutual funds. Sa. Okay, so yan. Um, ang next tanong natin guys is, ma'am, meron po bang ano ma'am, um, tendency na kapag ano, nakalimutan ko maghulog, um, mawawala yung pera ko? The answer is no. But instead, kung lalaki na po yung value sa shares mo, uh, it means to say na lalaki na ang NAV mo or net asset value per share. no? Okay, so, so katulad na lang nito guys. Diretso ko na lang. So sa pag-2009, nag-invest si investor ng 5,000. Nung time na yon, 
ang NAV or ang price per share is 9.73. So, it means to say sa 5,000 niya, nakabili siya ng 496 shares that time. Pero nakalimutan na niya eh, no? Hindi na niya naaalala na may investment pala siya. Pag 2018, right after 9 years, yung NAV naging 41.66 na from from 9.73. So what do you expect? Lumalaki siya. So it means to say yung 5,000 niya nagiging 20,000. So minus 5,000 niya na, na ini-invest noong 2009, meron siyang profit na 15,000 from 9 years. That's 1,740 per year or 34% per year. Hindi yan mabibigay ng bank. So kung sa bank mo yan nilalagay, for sure nawawala na yan, naging dormant. Kasi yung bank na pera mo, affected yun ng tax at saka, anong tawag, inflation. But dito guys, if the price per share, lumalaki po yung value, lumalaki din ang value ng pera mo. I hope you like no, the stock market. So I, IMG guys will offer 60 benefits, more than 60 benefits. And number 10 benefit is you can have or enjoy a zero load fee for your investment in mutual fund. And in our 5,500 membership fee, yung 1,000 pesos mo, automatic nang nalagay sa investment sa mutual funds. Yung 4,500, the rest na mga membership benefit will be given to you. Malapit na pong 815, okay? So, mamadali na lang ako ha, guys, ha? Uy, balik na siya. Okay. So if you uh, are a member of IMG guys no so you bypass the middleman meaning to say kapag member ka ng IMG diretso na ma-access mo yan lahat mutual funds insurance or mga healthcare namin na mga uh, recommendation kasi guys uh, may merong mga healthcare na hindi mo na makukuha yung ini-invest mo per year but kami dito you can have a guarantee to get your money full with interest na lifetime pa yung coverage. No, that's our Kaiser, no? So, okay, so, nagloko yung aking slides. So, ito din yung mga ano guys, benefit natin, no? So, yung benefit natin is this, no? Ang dami-dami po. So, education pa lang, Mga 30,000 siguro masisave mo. Like Chinkitan or Bo Sanchez, magbabayad ka man yan once lang. Pero sa atin dito, lifetime naman. Kung hindi mo naintindihan yung discussion tonight, you can still attend um, free webinars. no? Mga discount sa pagbili ng or purchase ng sasakyan. Discount ng mga insurances mo sa sasakyan mo. Discount ng or unlimited check-up natin. Unlimited uh, free eye check-up with free frames. No? Um, opportunity to travel the world and opportunity to do business as financial educator because uh, we have here what we call as extra income as financial educator. Paano po yan? We could talk about that the moment you're already part of it. So kung nangangailangan ka ng extra income aside from your investment dito, then um, sabay na tayo. Kasi ako din, no? so na-mention ni Ms. Jason kanina na I am a lecturer in the PNP and I am also a college president. But still, I love doing IMG because the business that we have here is our own business. No, wala po talagang um, babawi sa atin. Kasi the moment we become member, we own the company itself na. We also own a um, financial industry company. Okay? So become a member of only 5,500 pesos only, which is one-time lifetime. No, So if you are Philippine-coded, 5-5 five five lang po. But other countries will have different ano. So, as what you've noticed guys, ito yung mga investment mo, ma makikita mo lang dito, no? So, sample natin ito si Dave ito. Okay? So, there are a lot of members in IMG. Yan po, men in uniform natin. Ako po to guys, sa uniform personnel, as what you've noticed, mga CO, ano to? COP, Chief of Police, mga officers to. This is what you can um, determine guys or recognize. Kapag ganito ang uniforme, Mga official na yan. Kapag yung ordinary, kahit, alam yung mga, yung mga medyo may mas stripe stripe, so mga hindi yun officials. Ito mga officials talaga to. So, yan, mga teachers din. Nagtuturo din tayo sa mga teachers, no? So, and nagkakaroon kami ng mga conventions outside Philippines. So, kung scam kami, siguro nahaharang na kami sa immigration. O, ba So, mga millennials din, part of this na. Okay? 
So I think Miss Jessan, ikaw na po yung magtatapos Miss Jessan. Pero meron pa ako mga five minutes to answer questions. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you po Ate Coach, no? Super ganda po ng uh, ang topic po natin. So, guys,